Hey guys, what is going on? Matt the Sasquatch here, and I've been watching some NBA pre-season. The Knicks are currently on, and James Harden is just whipping their butts. And and as we all know, uh, this is kind of now the, the fresh start for, for every team, a, a new beginning and such. And it got me a, me a thinking. How did my sneaker collecting start? Where was the one shoe that pinpointed did my true sneakerhead days? Um, I've had shoes before I really became a sneakerhead. Just looking right now at my rack, um, I've had Sperry boat shoes, Puma low tops, Van low tops, and even a pair of um, Adidas superstars but I really wasn't like collecting or 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 anything I was one of those one of those kids that well at well well at this point adult that that bought one new pair each year and that was that I really wasn't, wasn't investing staying in it because well let me uh, take it back to high school Way back in high school, junior high, and middle school even, I always had a humongous obsession with shoes. I don't know why, I just always had a humongous, a humongous obsession in that, in, that your sh in that your shoes should go with what you are wearing and it, and it annoyed me when, when shoes and, and the rest of your outfit just clashed so hard, I was just mortified by it. I don't know why just always was I even had at one point a pair of LeBron for uh, um, uh, a LeBron pair for Royals because 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 at that time time he because this was before he went down to um, he went down to Miami I was still junior high high school at this time he was my my, my favorite player at that time that's now changed then that, that can be for a another day but no I don't hate him he's still in my top five players and that was really the the first pair of, sh of shoes that I got that were actually at that were actually an expensive pair of shoes but I, I even had had this mindset back then is that I didn't want my parents to spend so much money on me on on, on, on just good quality shoes. Like I, 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 I just knew back then that it would be a waste and they would not, and they would not appreciate that. But, but that LeBron pair was the only time I made them spend even over 50 bucks on a pair of shoes. I was going off of the, of the, the cheaper pairs or even then like, I was basically living on Payless shoes, but but those uh, th those were the initial initial, initial spark per se. I, I I I had enjoyed shoes before, but those were the initial spark. But unfortunately, I don't have them a anymore. But because of my mentality of not wanting my parents to per se have them spend so much on me on shoes, the my love for, for shoes just kind of took a, a back burner, especially during high school and college. Then once I got back out of college, it took over a year, but then I was shopping one day in a at my local mall, and I noticed that a pair of Jordan brand Carmelo signature line shoes were on sale. This was right around Christmas time. So... My parents were there as well. Surprisingly, they, they bought me them for Christmas. They got me the Concord um, Island pair, yeah. No, the Concrete Islands, that's right. And that was the, and, and that was the, the, that was the push that got me to really be, to really become a sneaker head, a sneaker, collector someone who just has a bunch of shoes now so 
this is the, the pair that that just really began my collecting experience per se and that too was was the last pair of shoes that my parents have have bought me every everything everything else that I buy like um like um all 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 of my Jordan ones I have the John Walls I have the Nike boots the Converse boots the Stan Smiths just just everything else now 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 that I've gotten since these I paid for myself so don't think I don't mooch off of my parents now I do buy my own shoes but I don't know what it was that that really attracted me to this pair at that time maybe it was the fact that it, it was still kind of a clean and, and simple pair of shoes but it so it so just has that 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 sparkle that flashy just style to them and 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 considering that they are a a a, a Carmelo signature soon which if you can't tell I do follow the Knicks a lot and Carmelo is now my second favorite player behind Kristaps Porzingis again that can be a, another video for another day and I guess the game's still on commercials but this is but this here's the shoe that finally got me into this world of sneakers so I guess this is my origin of a tale of how I became a sneakerhead. So if you and so if you and enjoyed this, I know there was a lot of talking and just a lot of backstory and not much about the actual shoe, but but but, but most of you, if not all of you by now, have have, have seen this on on other channels. So there's no point into into going into the actual shoe. This was more of me telling you how I got into this this thing this this hobby this lifestyle so if you liked it please click click like and if you are new hit that subscribe button for more content coming in the future and follow me everywhere else on the internet